Minimally invasive surgery has revolutionized knee replacement surgery and recovery rates. Dr. Herbert Huddleston of Valley Presbyterian Hospital tells us why knee replacement surgery would be necessary and explains the replacement used in the surgery. The most important innovations in knee replacement have come in the last four or five years. And they involve not the actual implant, but uh, the way that the operation is performed. Uh, knee replacement used to be an incredibly painful operation and the recovery used to take very long, up to a year. Most of the patients who need knee replacements have arthritis of the knee. The implant's made out of metal and plastic. The metal part is an alloy of cobalt and chromium and the plastic is high density polyethylene. That has tremendous wear characteristics and is, is, has been specially selected so that it can last for many years. This is a model of the knee and it has a knee implant already installed. Now most people think that if we say knee replacement, they think that we chop out three inches of bone on each side of the knee and then put in a big metal and plastic artificial knee. It really should be called a resurfacing of the knee because we remove a very small amount of bone and then we, we put a, a metal surface on the ends of the bone and a plastic piece going in between. We remove a very thin layer of bone from the lower end of the thigh bone and then we replace it with a metal cap. Now look at the thickness of that metal cap. It's less than a third of an inch and that's about the amount of bone that's removed. If you look at on the shin bone side, the amount of bone that was removed is as thick as this metal cap that you can see here and then that's replaced with a metal cap. Sandwiched between the two is this plastic piece. That replaces all the moving parts in the knee, so there's no arthritis left inside the knee. This is a very special knee because it has what's known as a mobile bearing. The bearing itself is free to move. Most knee replacements just work like a hinge, you see. In a mobile bearing knee, the bearing is free to rotate so that you have bending motion and you have rotating motion. That gives a better range of motion and it also gives a more natural feel to the knee. There are two very important aspects to the latest developments. The one is the way we do the operation and the other one is in pain management. Those two combined have been a revolution in knee replacement surgery. We now concentrate our, our efforts on, on getting ahead of the pain while we're in surgery. Before we close up the wound, we inject all the soft tissues around the knee with a mixture of long-acting anesthetic, an anti-inflammatory, some morphine and another medication. We like to call this mixture the magic cocktail. As a result of this combination of the minimally invasive surgery and the local injection of, it, of the cocktail, uh, patients can go home faster, they can participate in their physical therapy better, and overall the recovery is much faster. The, the operation takes about an hour and a half to do. We get our patients up walking on the same day after the, of the surgery. Knee replacement patients have to have a lot of physical therapy to strengthen up the muscles and to maintain the range of motion. So after they go home, they go to outpatient physical therapy three times a week for about a month. The results of knee replacement surgery are excellent. After maybe three to six months, they, they get to a point where they no longer even think about the knee anymore and it becomes a natural part of their daily life. I have a patient whose name is Gwen. I did her knee replacement in about February of this year. I had the surgery and I did very well after surgery. Physical therapy came in maybe a couple hours after my surgery and got me out of bed and I walked to the door, had no pain. I would definitely have the surgery. I mean, there's no point in living your life in misery. And I do tell people that, you know, if you go in with a positive attitude and determine that you're gonna get moving and doing what you're supposed to do, uh, there's no point in suffering with the pain. It's remarkable how well you feel afterwards, and you're so glad you wish you'd done it sooner.